Hello YouTube, today we'll be breaking down and ranking the best sports movies of all time. From as far as I can see, most of the big, big sports movies out there are on this list. There's no air but, but to be honest, those movies to me are not that great. But, we'll go through all the tiers. I have noticed in the list that there are quite a bit of duplicates, so there uh, is going to be a designated section for duplicates because... I'm not creating my own list, I'm sorry. This is a pretty good list to begin with, and just want to point out, from my last video, I got comments saying, like, my list stills are terrible, that I should put more research in. All these lists that I made are totally subjective based on my opinion alone, and if you don't agree with my opinion, well, you can just suck it, because this is my opinion, this is my video, and I'm going to tell you what I think, and I'm not going to be open to other people's uh, points of view on that it's just this is what I think I can take criticism and stuff but sometimes people are just you know the trolls out there they just suck and they just have to be done away with but let me know what you think down in the comments below and let's get to it starting off with the best of all time these are of course are the best of all time greater entertainment these are ones that are in the tier just below it not that great ones that I enjoyed when I was younger maybe, but now maybe I just don't remember them that well, so I'm gonna remember saying that I've seen them, but I just don't remember them that fondly. Just plain sucks. There's probably only a few movies on this list that belong there, because to be honest, there's a lot of really great sports movies out there, and even the ones that aren't that great are still eminently watchable from start to finish. And then there's a list for haven't seen, and of course the duplicates, but let's get into it. With the Sandlot, I am I was want to point out this. There's only one Sandlot movie. There has only ever been one Sandlot Sandlot movie. And for those of you that think there are sequels out there, wow, those are just knockoffs. Basically, having nothing to do with this great film, great family movie, great kid growing up. Just trying to find the baby Ruth ball. Of course, runs into a former baseball player with a mean old dog. It just happens to have been a Hall of Fame player along with Babe Ruth. Of course, um, James Earl Jones is great in this performance, especially his jokes about, I got hit in the head and the lights just went out. <laughs> it's a funny movie, just watching them all grow up, watching their all <laughs> different uh, ideas and what they went on to do with their lives. And of course, just the main relations that are the best part. I haven't seen this movie in forever, but it's still eminently watchable. And definitely belongs in one of the best of all time, for sure. Bull Durham is great entertainment, for sure. I just watched this recently for the first time, and it's pretty fun. I mean, <laughs> the banter between Tim Robbins and Kevin Costner are great. And Kevin Costner just trying to help... Tim Robbins Wong to get to the big leagues. It's sad that uh, Bull Durham, away by Kevin Costner, doesn't actually get called up to the majors, even though he's just been slamming home runs for years. It just never quite enough gets let go on the last, on his last real chance. But I like the camaraderie off the field, um, all the shit talking on the field. And of course, Susan Sarandon is pretty good in this one, although she can be kind of annoying to be honest. Um, but some lots of good humor and some dirty jokes as well. One of the more underrated sports movies out there, and one I fully recommend if you haven't seen it. The Fighter. I haven't seen it. Heard it's amazing. It's on the list to watch someday, but I have not gotten to it. Vision Quest. Um, from what I research on, it's a movie about a wrestler, Matthew Modine. Didn't make a lot of money, just kind of, it just, it just looks like one of those movies from the 80s that just like, you know, it came, went, never remember it, ever. Basketball, I've heard it's hilarious, I haven't seen it yet, but considering it's Matt Stone and Trey Parker, it must be eminently watchable. Rookie of the Year, still great entertainment, I wouldn't call it the best of all time, I don't think it's quite in the tier of Sandlot. I do remember this fondly, the kid ha having his arm injured and this magically being able to throw people out, strike out, and of course it was w it was with the Cubs, one of my least favorite teams of all time, and I just like the on-field 
or relationships. Um, he's a cool kid, and he, and it's funny. This was made in the '90s, so still like, um, like 20 years before the Cubs actually won the World Series again. So watching the kid at the end, like I always forget his name, but show a World Series ring, it's like, ha 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 ha, you're funny. And then of course the Cubs didn't end up winning it. But they have sunk back to below with those standards now. But great entertainment. It's a total kids movie, but even as an adult, I still enjoy it a lot. Varsity Blues, I heard is really good. I have not seen it. Blades of Glory is eminently watchful. It is stupid as all hell. But Will Ferrell just Will Ferrell and John Hader just work so well together. Of course, John Hader is just ridiculous and kind of douchey and he gets just left on the side of the road by his dad adoptive father for not winning and when they have to team up jimmy mcelroy <laughs> oh it's great it's a great movie especially um during the training montage and they're trying to perform the iron lotus and they <laughs> watch in the video of the guy cutting the woman's head off it's hilarious and of course um Amy Poehler and Will Arnett are great as well as the douchey um, brother and sister duo that are going up against the duo. And it's really weird, but eminently watchful, but stupid as all hell, let's be honest. Yeah, sacrilege, I know, sacrilege, I know, but Friday Night Lights is great, especially talking about the uh, off the field actions i love the football i think the football action in this movie is fantastic and some of the best we've seen in a long time but the best parts are the relationships between the players their families and their coaches billy bob thornton is a great coaching figure one of the great great coach on street coaches of all time and booby miles it's sad what happens to him on the field and watching him after being told all of his life that he's so fantastic and then all he had was football but then to have it taken away is just sad to see and then we have lucas black or he wants to continue playing football and he's good at it but he doesn't want to leave his mom and i like the conversations between him and billy bob thorne saying like you eventually gotta leave the town you gotta leave her behind you gotta live your life and he eventually does um and it's just a great movie, and it's sad in the end that they don't end up winning, but if you watch the movie, you'll know that the year later, um, Odessa won state cha- won the state, cha- state Division Five championship, winning it all the way out. It's just different to see how big football is in Texas. This, this uh, movie really shows how big... Texas or football is to the state of Texas and the amount of things that people will do to win the fact that the boosters are literally outright threatened um Billy Bob Thornton that um your job will be done if you don't win at all it's like the fact that anybody has thinks that their money alone will get you a victory despite this being high school sports it's ridiculous but Still eminently watchable and one of the best movies of all time, at least sports movies. Little Giants, haven't seen it, but I heard it's great. Uh, Moneyball, another great one. I love this movie. I watch it all the time. It's just so fun to watch. I like the I like the whole building of the team, saber metrics, and and I know it hasn't had the best success in real life baseball, but what we when it, when it does work, it really works. It's a great time. I love the relationships. I I mean, let's be honest. Brad Pitt and his daughter. Those moments, whenever those moments start, I just skip them. They're just terrible. I I just they just stop the plot. To be honest for me, I mean, it's nice to see the father daughter relationship, but also it's like she makes a song about him being a loser, dad, and it's. It's funny, but it's sad also at the same time. But it's funny how it's too bad that the Ace never won anything, especially in this season, especially now considering what the Oakland Athletics are, now whatever they're going to be called. But this movie is so good. This was the best movie of the year that it came out. 
not whatever one I think it was the artist is like who the fuck remembers the artist but everybody remembers this movie and this movie is great all the ridicule that um Billy Bean went through with uh, the whole saber metrics thing and then it turned out working just a few years later with Theo Epstein and the Boston Red Sox it's a fantastic movie definitely should have won best picture the year it came out owie heard it was good haven't seen it d2 i don't think it's as good as d1 especially because gordon bombay um emilio uh just turns into a giant dude she's being pulled away by all the things that got him and his team there but I also love the hockey action. I mean, it's so zany. I like the um, professional hockey play, hockey player appearances. Luke Robitaille, I think Gretzky was in there. This one as well. Um, but it's still a great time. And the wing is still a fantastic move. Days of Thunder is a really fun movie. I haven't seen it in forever, but it's great racing action. One of the great, uh, one of the underrated movies of Tom Cruise's career. Um, I love him and um, Michael Rooker going at it throughout it. It's fun. The racing is fun to watch. I mean, still, the editing at times can be a little weird, but um, it's a great shot movie and one that I eminently enjoy. But I haven't seen it for a while, so I should watch it again. Teen Wolf, I know I haven't seen it, but I heard it was good. I have no idea what that is. Never seen that. This one, but it looks good. Million Dollar Baby. <sighs> Million Dollar Baby is a great movie. It is a good movie. But to be honest, on second viewings, it just loses some of its luster. I know it was a big award winner for um, for what's her name, Hilary Swank, and it's still a Clint Eastwood movie, so it's still better than a lot of movies out there. Just on second viewings, you, it's just kind of terrible. I mean, her family just is shit. I mean, they they are absolutely terrible, and watching her try and recover is just kind of sad and depressing. But I mean, her rise to the top is fun to watch. But I mean, the last. 45 minutes is just really hard to watch it she's just on a breath on a on a breather after falling neck first on the stool it's a well shot movie one of uh eastwood's not one of eastwood's best even though it won a lot of awards and morgan freeman is fantastic but it's just on repeating viewings it loses a lot of its luster in my opinion Yeah, well, we're not doing Field of Dreams yet. <sighs> ah, stupid thing. Uh, Space Jam. I love Space Jam. It's still great. It's zany. It's hilarious. The Looney Tunes. Michael Jordan action is weird. It's still a weird concept. The whole uh, bunny boobies angle is just fucking weird. <laughs> but it's a fun time. It's still ridiculously entertaining. Um, just don't have much to say. It watch this over the crappy uh, sequel, but it's still eminently enjoyable. Coach Carter, I love Coach Carter. It's fantastic. It just gets to me every time. And again, it's another one of those movies where it doesn't end in victory. It doesn't end in victory, but it is cool. How Ken Carter in real life went, cared about his boys, cared about them getting into college, cared about them actually succeeding off the basketball court in an environment that breeds um, disinterest in good life, disinterest in getting an education, and just flat out going to jail. I mean, it's very entertaining. Um, Channing Tatum was one of his first movies. Samuel Jackson is fantastic, especially when he gets at it with the school board. The school board just doesn't give a shit. All they care about is the basketball. It doesn't, and they really show their true colors. It's nice when the district administrator and a couple and 
and one other, and the principal show their support for the motion to keep the gym locked. But then a bunch of sick of fans like, oh, we just want the basketball. We just want the basketball. That's all. Let the ball is play. Let the ball is play basketball. It's just like people are missing the forest for the trees. I mean, it's a great movie. It's great when they start having success and um, sad that they end up not succeeding in the end. But they give it their all and it's just a great time. And from what I've learned it's pretty accurate to the actual events and it's cool to see a a coach and take interest in his players academic life over just this over just the basketball angle it's a fantastic movie must watch again d3 is not that great i don't remember d3 like at all i really don't <laughs> to be honest i haven't seen this in a long time and it's just it's just one of those forgettable ones. It's it's the third sequel. It lost a lot of its luster, but it's still wa eminently watchable, but I just don't have a lot to say about it because I just don't remember it that well. Field of Dreams. Definitely up there. We'll put that above Space Jam. Uh, Field of Dreams is great. I love the player building the field in the cornfield. I love the relationship that Kevin Costner has with James Earl Jones and his family building the field, getting told to build a field. Of course, the players coming out of the field to play. She was Joe Jackson. It's great. And on a side note, um, I'd love to know what people think of She was Joe Jackson belongs in the Hall of Fame. Or from from my research in the past, he didn't. He just didn't know a lot. He just didn't know anything about what was going on when players were fixing the World Series and that he was just kind of roped in and then roped in as one of the perpetrators and that he doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame, but he does. He's one of the greatest players of the dead ball era and he truly belongs in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Um, but yeah, the movie's great. It's such a nice family movie, good feeling movie. It's one of those sports movies that brings you hope, brings you hope in a world of darkness. It's a great time. Kingpin. Uh, I heard it was good. Haven't seen it. White Men Can't Jump. Heard it's hilarious. Haven't seen it. Tin Cup. Have not seen that either. Uh, Mighty Ducks. Definitely a great entertainment. Not one of the best of all time. Fun time. I love Gordon Bombay being told that he, because he's a total drunk, that he has to lead a team of youths. Of course, they're a bunch of miscreants. But he shows him how to play hockey. And I like his relationship with Charlie. Um, and I love the inclusion of the Minnesota North Stars in this. I love the North the North Stars. I wish uh, the Minnesota Wild could be the North Stars again. Because they just had great uniforms and a great team. Mike Madonna shows up. And, and he's just one of the better players of all time. It's zany humor. It's definitely the best of the series for sure. And just the last two sequels just don't um, hold up as well. But the first one still is fun. Fun time. Especially when he sticks it to his lawyer boss at the end. Fantastic. Blue Chips. Haven't seen it. But I heard it was good. Rudy. Oh, well, yeah. Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. It's fun. I know, it's probably sacrilege, but I just don't like Rudy all that much. I mean, I think it's a fun movie. It's just kind of boring. Well, no, it is a good time. It is a good time, but at times it can be kind of boring. It's one of those movies that, as a man, you just need to see. And it's just ridiculous. I don't think the story is all that accurate about um, Rudy, the real player, actually getting onto the field at the end. Um, I think a lot of it is stretch thin um i just don't have a lot to say about it. it i remember watching it i had a good time but just on uh, a couple other viewings of it, it just doesn't hold up as well in my opinion i know i made a poll the other day but i put rudy in there because i know a lot of people like rudy but or for football movies but i will put up a new poll about greatest sports movies of all time 
when this vi when I put this video up. So let me know what you think about that poll when you see it. I love Cinderella Man. I love Cinderella Man a lot. It's a great time. It is a little longer, but in the story of Jim Braddock. Then we have Russell Crowe, one of Russell Crowe's underrated films, Renee Zellweger, and just the story of Jim Braddock. And he was on welfare. I love at the ending when he goes back to the welfare office and gives the money back. And they tell him, you don't have to give this back to us. It's like, yes, I do. I have to. And it's like, if only people in real life are treated welfare like well, like it should be and paid it back. But we know that's never going to happen. But it's a great story. It's a great time. One of the uh, truly underrated sports movies of all time. The boxing action is great. It's a nice and bloody, dingy, early 20s action. Fantastic time. Well, actually, not early 20s. Great Depression era, I should say. But it's a fun time, nonetheless. A League of Their Own just sucks. I hate this movie so much. We're all crying in baseball. And then the fat pig, um, uh, um, what's her name? Rosie O'Donnell. Gina Davis is ridiculous. It just, I hate this movie so much. It's just flat out sucks. Cool Runnings is fun time. It's great entertainment. It's zany and ridiculous about the Jamaican bobsledding team. Just the whole training <laughs> When they're on a on a island and they expect to go to I think it was set in Canada to be in a bobsled. Of course they don't end up winning, but it's a great feel. There are good feelings, good time, and there is a true story behind it and um what they had to do to actually get involved in the competition and I mean they make a mess of everything, but it's just zany fun. Fun time, fun times above the rim. Never seen it. Slapshot is one of the most is one of the best, most hilarious sports movies of all time. Absolute blast with the Bash Brothers, Paul Newman. <laughs> They're just playing with their fucking toys. It's, it's fantastic. I haven't seen it in a long time. It was a great fun. Just absolute drug alcohol humor. Total boys movie for sure. And I can she called him a C one. I think it's I called him a slut. This is great. It's a great time. Again, another one of the best. Well, here I'm not gonna put in the best of all time, but Talladega Nights is hilarious. Still, Shake and Bake, falling in love with Amy Adams, and just um. To be honest, Sasha Baron Cohen is a total douchebag in this, especially when they show him with his husband Henry. It's fantastic in the faces on when they see after they see the promos. Where is, of course, the cougar? There's a cougar in the car. There's a cougar, and the way they teach, or his mom Jane Winch teaches his boys not to be total hell raids. So, like, there's a scene if you haven't seen it where the kids just take a hose from somebody's house and just spray it. Into into the house, uh, some old person's house. And they're like, who does that? And they're like, don't snort these lucky charms. It's just a great time. Absolutely, eminently hilarious, and one of the best movies of Will Ferrell's career. Absolute banger. You know, let's do some cleanup. Let's get some of these duplicates out of here. The blue chips are this one. Duplicate, um, Burl Durham, we did, already did that, that one's in there twice, that one's in there twice, that one's in there twice, one, I haven't reviewed this one yet, but that one's in there twice, this one's there twice, oh god, this is terrible, what happened with this list? Sorry, I'm going to get back to it eventually, but I'm just trying to remove some of these so we can get to the actual movies.
Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. If you want to skip this part of the video, go ahead. All right, I think that's good for now. Uh, Raging Bull. Haven't seen it. Warrior. Great time. Great time. Really fun movie. It is a little bit longer. I like the MMA action. Principal or a teacher has to like um, fight to make ends meet. Then he finds out his brother. The whole revelation that their brother, Tom Hardy, and Joel Edgerton fighting. It's a great time at great MMA action. It's just not one I really remember, remember all that much, but I didn't think I remember I had a really good time with it. Dodgeball, again, eminently watchable. One of the better ones, I think, is just a little bit above Talladega Nights, but do you have the balls? And, of course, Bill Ben Stiller is a total douchebag in this movie. <laughs> Him being fat and then getting skinny and going fat again. Um, all <laughs> the S&M gear over there, Joe's <laughs> uniforms, the... Uh, the girl with the bull trank with the beaver tranquilizer. It's just so quotable. Absolutely fun time. And Global Gym or terrible Vince Vaughn is just one of those guys. You just whenever he's in a movie you just gotta like him. Even though he just comes off kind of a douchebag at times, you just gotta like him at the same time too. I'm bisexual. I fell he fell he fell from the roller coaster and broke every bone in his body. Yep, boop. Dead. <laughs> Fun time, great cast, absolute blast of a movie. Hoosiers, fantastic. Love Hoosiers, I love it. It's a great story on a great team. High school basketball, absolutely fantastic. One of Gene Hackman's very best, bringing a team together. I like how they have to, you know, just try and survive and they all make it all the way to the all, all the way to the state championship of course they win it's a great score bringing jimmy chitwood in and he's just the best he jimmy chitwood i think that what, what his last name is reminds me it basically feels like he's jerry west it's like the jerry west of this movie he's great he just comes out of nowhere note when he just says he doesn't want to play and he just makes the team so much better i like the consequences i like the relationships it's just a great time and like i said the score is fantastic one of the better ones of all time for sure i think i'll put it a little bit above cinder all man and yeah about field dreams too caddyshack great movie so Fucking funny, so quotable as well. It's more about the golf is fun, but the zany hijinks outside is fun. With the whole uh, behind the scenes, was just a total stoner movie. I mean, uh, Bill Murray was obviously just stoned out of his mind through most of the time. Harold Ramis, it's like they they openly admitted to just just doing so many drugs in this movie. It's a great time. Great movie, eminently quotable, and just one of the most funny sports movies of all time. You know all the best moments. That one's in there twice, that one's in there twice. Let's do some more cleanup. Oh, Rocky IV. What the fuck? Rocky IV isn't on here. That's an oversight for sure. Uh, tin cup. I haven't seen the program, but I've heard it was good. Candy Shack is in there twice. Major League. Great time. Again, another funny sports movie from that time. Where, where sports movies were allowed to be funny before they became ultra serious in the early 2000s. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous. Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, 
um, Willie Mays Hayes, um, Wesley Snipes, funny, funny note, um, this movie, Wesley Snipes was, like, seen as one of the worst, uh, at, or sports movie athletes of all time. I mean, they showed him in ultra slow mo just just to not see that he was really really slow. I mean, he was terrible. He's a terrible athlete. And I mean, he openly admits that he was a the theater geek. He, I mean, he's not an athlete as opposed to in the second major league where we have one of the best sports athletes of all movie athletes of all time, Omar Epps. This movie is fantastic absolutely hilarious i mean frank taylor 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 is a terrible guy i mean um Rene russo has this great guy he comes off as kind of a dick but i mean he would have had a much better life as opposed to being with this um catcher down on his luck basically on its last legs who just treated her terribly i mean let's be honest um but it's so funny just wild thing the music. Also, the fact that it was filmed in fucking Milwaukee County Stadium is great. It's very great. It's a super handsome moment for me, and it's just a fun time all the way through. I can do the program. Whip it. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of terrible. The Way Back. I've never seen it. Heard it was somewhat decent, but not one I remember fondly. Who running on there twice? We're getting to the nitty gritty. Oh, wait, wait, that one's in there twice. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday is a great time. Gotta be honest, the editing in this movie just drives me fucking crazy. I mean, I don't like this movie all that much. I think it's still a fun movie. Great idea. Talking about on the field, off the field again. Jim Brown is great in this movie. Um, uh, all the drugs. I like all the behind the scenes stuff. Like with Friday Night Lights, this takes it from a professional angle. All the vices and virtues that players can get into off the field. Dennis Quaid, Al Pacino. I think Al Pacino is ridiculous. Jamie Foxx. Also one of the best sports athletes of all time, movie athletes of all time. Cameron Diaz is really annoying. James Wood is fantastic. He's so sarcastic. He's just a terrible doctor, giving terrible advice, but it's a great time. Lots of swearing, lots of drugs, and lots of good humor at times as well. Just the editing in this movie just kind of is something of an acquired taste, to be honest. Something of an acquired taste for sure. But it's a fun movie nonetheless, just not one of the best of all time, contrary to popular belief. I think The Natural is fantastic. It's a fun movie. I haven't seen it for a while, but one of Robert Redford's great coming in. Just, I don't have a lot to say about it. It's just a fun time. This is one of those movies, once you see it, it's like, yeah, it's a great time. A great sports movie for sure. Sorry, I don't have much to say about it. it's been a while ladybugs haven't seen it rocky this is the one's in the right the rocky the original rocky rocky is great i think rocky is kind of the first rocky movie was kind of boring to be honest but it did win best picture and it's a great time low time boxer working for the mob i like his budding relations with Polly with Adrian he's great of course he comes up short but he shows that he can fight with the best of the best Paul Creed Carl Weathers fantastic it's a great movie frankly my favorite in the series is four but that's not even in this poll sorry for the oversight there but Rocky is a great time for sure Happy Gilmore. I just watched this recently again and again. It's so quotable. So funny. One of Ad Adam Sandler's best for sure. A great time. <laughs> Shooter McGavin is one of the most zany, evil, douchey bad guys you will ever come across. Just his quick bags at <laughs> Sandler. Of course, like, you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> and of course, the guy, um, the ja the guy that says Jackass, he just recently passed away. He was a great character actor in his own right. Um, Bob Barker, the fight between Happy and Bob Barker is hilarious. The alligator shot forcing Carl Weathers out the window. It's just a great time. And then when Shooter McGavin gets beat up by Adam Sandler's construction boss, it's just great. I believe that's Mr. Gilmore's. Karate Kid. Great movie. Great time. Don't remember a lot about it, but... It's been, but Ralph Macho gets shit on so badly by the kids for no other reason, just because... I don't really know. I'm just bully being a bully. But of course, wax on, wax off. Fantastic. Especially when he has his karate kick at the end. Great time. Uh, we're going to put that a little bit lower because I don't have the fondest memories of this movie. I didn't grow up with it a lot, but still a fun time. Probably Zach, which I'm going to put in great entertainment. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans going right up here. I love it even though some of the details behind it are um, stretched a little thin by Disney. But it is a fun time. One, definitely one of the best. Actually, I think it is arguably the best sports movie of all time. I mean, just fantastic. Denzel Washington at his absolute best. Bringing teams together. Taking them to Gettysburg. Um, um, Will Patton is great. And of course, he just gets that boy take or shot out of the Hall of Fame just because he won. Because a black coach helped them, helped them win. A championship. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous how racist they make these guys out to be for no other reason. It's just so stupid. But I mean, the relationships on the court between the players becoming brothers, be actually becoming a team, going beyond race. It's one of those great movies that shows that people can rise above race despite what the powers that be want to divide and conquer everybody. It's like. We should be bringing each other together because sports is a great is a great unifier at the great end of the day, and the fact that sports is becoming more political for no reasons is shows how far our, our society has fallen. But this was a great reminder of how great sports can be, with on the field and off the field as well. Fantastic. The wrestler I haven't seen it, but I heard it was pretty good. And Rocky Three, great entertainment. Um, not gonna put in the best of all time, but Blue Lips, Hulk Hogan fighting against Mr. T, fantastic. That's a great time. Not one of the best in the series, and probably one of the lower here in the series, but I love it a lot. It's fun. Rocky training back up to beat Mr. T is fantastic, and at the end. When you get just get to just unload on him, it's just great, great time, and that's my list. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I know there are a lot of duplicates in there, so there are some parts of the video that you can absolutely skip. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and all of that junk. But have a great day, and always, God bless.